So today I will show you how, how to create a vector chalkboard. To create this tutorial I was inspired by this brilliant Vectips article. But instead of creating this grain texture, which is basically a raster effect, I will show you how to create a pure vector texture from custom brush. So let's get started from a new document. Go to File New. Make sure that you, you are choosing a landscape orientation and click Create. I have already created my one. Go to Rectangle tool and fill the entire artboard with the rectangle and choose this color, this hexadecimal volume. Set this color to your fill. Then go to Appearance panel. If you can find your appearance panel, go to Windows Appearance. Select the fill. Make sure that your rectangle is selected. And click on this icon Duplicate Selected Item. Duplicate your fill. Go to Gradient Panel and apply Gradient to this fill. Change the type of your from liner to radial. Double click on your black slider and change your color to 16% gray. 16% gray. Then go to transparency panel and change the blending mode from normal to multiply. Like so. Now log this layer with your artboard and create a new one. We will create custom brush. So, to create a custom brush, go to Brushes, click on this icon New Brush, choose the Bristol Brush, and click OK. Then, increase the size to 10 mm, increase the Bristol length to 150%, then increase the Bristol density to 70%, decrease the paint opacity to 8%, and uh, increase the stiffness to 100%. Then go to Paint Brush tool, change your draw color to white. And increase your stroke to 6 points and then start to draw the strokes from your right to the center, like so, like so, like so. And then from the left to the center, they can cross each other into the center. This is our chalk strains. Select this layer. Then lock this layer and create a new one by clicking on this icon. Go to pencil tool and draw this wavy line to fill the entire Artwork. Set the stroke color to white. And then, if you followed my tutorial how to create a patriotic heart shape with uh, grunge texture, you can skip this step by clicking on the second link in the description. If you didn't follow my previous tutorial, you need to click on the first link in the description. That link will lead you to this Dribbble account. Click on this link, open the PDF document, save this PDF document, go to Illustrator. 
Open this PDF document. Go to your brushes panel. Select all brushes by holding shift key and selecting first and last brushes. Open your brushes library uh, menu and choose save brushes. Name them as you want. I have already created my one is Scatter and click save. Close this document. Then go to your brushes and choose user defined and choose your previously created brushes. And from this menu choose number 15, brush number 15. In my case it's scatter brush number 15. And apply it to your path. Then go to stroke and increase stroke weights to 2 pixels. And then go to edit menu and cut the stroke or just click Ctrl X Command X on your Mac. Then unlock your layer with the board, select by clicking on this bullet and choose go to transparency panel and choose make mask. Then select this mask by clicking on this black square. Uh, go to edit and choose paste in place command. Keep your keep this uh, path selected. Uncheck this clip and choose invert mask. Then go to opacity and set the opacity for 2%. I find it work for me very well. Then log these layers and create a new one for our frame. Go to rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Set the stroke color of this rectangle to this value, this brown. Then go to the stroke panel and align the stroke to inside. Then increase your stroke weights to 40 points. It actually depends on the size of your artwork. In my case it's 40 points. Then select your frame, go to the path and outline stroke. Then we need to create this, these borders, go to the pen tool. I will increase Ctrl plus or Command plus on your Mac to, to scale your artwork. Then draw this, draw this path with your pen tool. Go to gradient and fill this path with the, this gradient uh, and choose the reverse gradient. Then go to black slider and decrease 40% of gray. And then decrease the value of your black, like so. Then go to transparency panel and change the blending mode to multiply to achieve this effect. Then go to transform, reflect, 
Make sure that you re reflect them vertically and click copy and drag your rectangle holding shift key. Then select both by holding shift key and select right and left. Then click on your right mouse button key and choose group or click Ctrl G, Command G on your Mac. Then holding Shift key and holding Alt key, drag this to your to your bottom and then rotate it holding Shift key like so. So this is our borders. Then we need to create the fiber of our go to line segment tool. Scale your artwork by clicking on Ctrl plus or Command, Command plus on Mac and draw the line. Then set the stroke color of your line to this value D8, 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 light gray color, like so, and change it to stroke. Then go to the effect, distort and transform, and choose transform. And in this panel, choose set the number of copies to 3 and scale it horizontally to 99%, move them vertically for 8 pixels. Then click OK, go to the object and inspect them, scale them a little bit. To see better what you are doing and then go to the transparency and set the blending mode to multiply then go to the effect distort and transform zigzag decrease the size of your zigzag to 5 pixels and decrease the reach per segment to 3 choose preview and choose smooth and click ok and expand it we will achieve this wavy lines Then go to the Warp tool, by holding on your Widths tool, you will choose Warp tool, double click on it. Decrease the intensity to 20 points, decrease the size to 70 pixel height and 70 pixels width and click OK. Holding left mouse button key and drag direction of these waves. Then go to the wrinkle tool, click on some of your fibers to make ring wrinkles. So we achieve something very similar to our wooden fibers. Then select your wooden fibers, click right mouse button key, choose transform and choose reflect. And reflect them horizontally, click copy. 
then holding shift key drag it to your bottom and then holding alt key to copy this drag it to the center and then holding shift key drag it to your left side and holding alt key scale it down go to your transform reflect make sure to reflect from vertical and copy and holding shift key drag it to your right side and the last one create a new layer for our text Increase the size Then go to graphic styles if you can find the graphic styles, go to the Windows uh, graphic styles of just simply Shift F5 and then go to your, the library by clicking on this button. Go to Scribble effect and choose this effect number 6 Scribble and apply it to your child lettering. Then change the color of this effect to white, like so. Then go to Appearance, find Scribble and double click on it. Increase the variation to 1 pixel. Decrease the spacing to 2 pixels and click OK. Then go to your brushes panel. Go, go to library, choose artistic, artistic chalk and charcoal pencil and then apply this brush charcoal and decrease the stroke width to 0.75 like so and this is how you can create this Truly vector chalkboard in Adobe Illustrator. If you like this tutorial, please thumb up and share this video with uh, your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.